presenting a growing little ones video. Here he comes back around. See how he's following the line? Hey everybody, today we've got a really cool robot. And this is Botley the coding robot. And I was so excited when Learning Resources contacted us and asked us to do a video of this neat toy. And they sent us one, and now it's finally here. Look at how cool he looks. He will actually follow that black line. And it is really neat. You can draw whatever you want, and he will go on your black line. So we're going to show you everything about this cool toy. So let's get started. When I first got him out of the box, it looked like this. I had to put batteries in here and in here, and they take triple A's. And then you have the arms that you can add so that he can carry things on his missions. And there we go. And we've got some little blocks here. And he can carry the little rubber duck, or he can carry the star. So lots of different things like that that he can carry. And then we have our remote. And let's go ahead and turn him on. And you have to choose if you want to do coding or if you want to do the line. So we're going to start with coding. And here is how it works. So let's back this up so you can see better. There we go. Now these are your controls. You can go forwards, backwards, left, right. This will um, do object detection so that he can actually sense that there's something in front of him. And we'll get into that. This will repeat exactly what you just did. Here is the clear button, and that's important. So you can clear out whatever you did last. And then the sound, so you can turn the sound off or lower. So let's start with simple. We're going forward once, and then transmit. There we go. And he went forward once. Now let's try something a little bit more complicated. First, before you do your next thing, you need to hit clear to make sure that it clears it out. Otherwise, it will just keep doing the new code you enter on top of the old code, and it will keep going. He can do up to 80 steps all at the same time. So you can keep adding until there's 80 steps, so that's pretty crazy. And you have cards. So you can keep track of those 80 steps. So say your first one is turn right, and then go straight, and then turn left. So you can keep track and remember what you've told Botley to do. And you know, you have a bunch of different cards. They're on both sides to make sure you have enough. And this is the repeat button, and there's another repeat button. So these are really cool to help you remember because after you get down to step 70, you may not remember what that first step was. And we're going to sit these over here. And now to that little bit harder code. So we're going to clear, and then we're going to do forward, forward, right, right, forward. And I'm going to sit them back here and transmit. Forward, forward. Right, right, forward. Ta-da! Now let's try it a little different. Let's clear it out. Actually, we're not going to clear it out. Let's try something. We're just going to add a forward at the very end and then transmit. So we should go forward, forward, right, forward, forward. Ta-da! It was actually, it was forward, forward, right, right, forward, forward. See how I added it on the end? Now we're going to add backwards, backwards on the end. So now it's going to be transmit. Should be forward, forward, right, right, forward, forward, and then back, back. You see how we're adding onto our code? Very cool, and you can do that up to 80 steps. Love this toy. It is so much fun. Wait till you watch it follow the black line. That is so cool, and I think my five-year-old is going to adore that neat feature. But before we do that, let's go ahead and show you the loop, because what kid doesn't want to make Botley go in a circle? 
So let's do this. We're going to clear it out. And then we're going to do loop. Right, 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 right. Let's see what he does. There we go. Ah, he's going in circles. Woohoo! That is awesome. Now let's get out our paper and follow the black brick road. Here is my paper that I've drawn my black line on and I had to tape it together so ideally you'd have the really big drawing paper where you could draw all over it and have Botley doing all sorts of fun loops and circles. Now you need to remember to switch him over to line where it says line and then this part needs to be on your black line like that and you just press the button on top of Botley. Look at him follow! Oh, this is so cool! Let's get a closer look. Here he comes back around. See how he's following the line? And he will actually just continue to go back and forth until you shut him off. So he will follow your track. See how he's looking for the black line? Woohoo! Botley! He's whistling while he's working. He does this so well. This is really, really a cool toy. I'm having so much fun with it, and I am not five years old. <laughs> All right, Botley, we are going to make you a circle to follow because I've been really wanting to see you go in a circle. So give me just a second, and we are going to draw him a circle on a new piece of paper. I've got a big old permanent marker here, so it's easy for him to follow. Uh-oh, see he lost his line because I moved him around. You just hit the button and you stop him. And here we go. There is a circle for Botley to follow. Put him on. <laughs> He's following the circle. Woohoo, Botley. Good job. And he'll just keep going around and around. And you just press the button. There you go. All done. So, really, really neat. And there's a couple of other things I wanted to show you because he can actually avoid objects. Now, this is really awesome. Here is our obstacle right there and we're gonna put Botley back here and do you think he can get around this obstacle? Let's find out. So first I'm gonna tell Botley that I want him to go straight straight but if you run across an obstacle I want you to think about it. So here is the obstacle and now I need to put in a command to tell him what to do if he runs into something. So this is the if clause if he runs into something, what should he do? I'm going to tell him, if you run into something, I want you to go right, forward, and then left. And then transmit. There we go. He received what I told him to do. He ran into the object, and then he turned. See how he noticed that there was something here? And so he did his right, straight, and then left. And that got him around the object. And I'm going to give you a different view so you can see better what he does. Here we go. All right, Botley, we want you to go straight, straight. But if you run into something, I want you to go right, straight, left. Can you do that, Botley? We transmitted it. Ah, he knew he ran into something. So he went and followed my directions. Very cool, Botley. You are amazing. I really enjoyed sharing this cool toy with you. I was so excited to do this video. He is a really awesome toy, and we had lots of fun with him. Yoo hoo! <laughs> Yoo hoo! <laughs> and he's still talking to us. But if you have any questions, place them in the comments. And be sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys. All have sinned. 
Yes, all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And there is none, not even one, none righteous, not even one. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. If you declare, if you declare, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him up from the grave you will be saved yes you will be saved